Hello, my well being humans, and welcome back to another fabulous video here on my channel, where, of course, we're going to be talking about my current household for the month of, um, well, June, I guess? Is that June? I guess today is June. Do I always do the month before? You know, it's been a minute, and I think it shows that I have not posted a current household update, you know? I think it's, I think, I think it shows that it's been a minute, and I'm sorry for that, you know? It's my fault. Um, the last current household update I think I gave you was back in April, when it ended, like, on a kind of, like, a cliffhanger, and I wanted to be able to sum up that whole storyline before I came back and gave you a new one, um, and next week, next month, you know, in, in July, when we have a, oh, I guess this will be May. This will be May's. That would make sense. Um... I think it's the month prior, not the month of. That makes sense. Okay, sorry. Uh, the current household, either way, doesn't matter. It's the current household. You're here for to, to watch me talk about people I care about. So, when you saw these people, people were toddlers. Um, I'll introduce the characters again, obviously, for, uh, for just, you know, better or so reasons. I don't know if you guys knew that he was in the, you know, he was in the uh, military career, but he's in the military career. He's going to go to work here. Actually, he's about to go to work, so we should probably, can I go to criticism with her? Um, I can, once you out of bed. So we're going to take her out of bed. She's currently working as um, a niche broadcaster right now, so she does a lot of streaming and different things like that at home. But she's trying to get to 100 million followers, I mean 100,000 followers on any social media and so we're doing a lot of different things for that platform but obviously that's not what you guys are here to talk about and i get that i'm kind of like pushing it off so the storyline if you guys did not know for this family this family i've had for oh my god three years or so now and we're in we're in deep okay so i highly recommend i always make a certain video the video to go back to if you want to know the whole entire legacy part before like we jump in i talk you through like the last i don't know year or so of me playing it again and so I'm gonna link that video up above. Um, it actually might be longer than that. I think it might be four years now, which is just crazy. But I'm gonna link that video up in the cards. It should be hot popping up here around somewhere relatively soon. That's like an August of a Hayden's review, Hayden's current household, Anderson type thing. This is the sentence of their children. Um, I think we're two generations, maybe three generations from that one generation that I just recommended you to. But of course, that's the initial starting point. I'm not going to explain the whole storyline. We're just going to start with Alicia and her husband um, and their two children. So uh, personally, I'm actually going to try to get Alicia pregnant again. As we did go through a traumatic event, I think babies would help in this particular event. But I do have a lot of fun things planned ahead, which I do not want to spoil. So there will be no spoilers for any storylines going forward as these are storyline planned normally current households because i like i like having an agenda um certain days i just like coming in and i just like screwing around and playing and watch other people play sims i think that's really fun however you like playing the sims i think it's i think it's the best recommendation but either way they're innocence they're not valentine um his he who was engaged um it's a scandalous story i highly recommend you watch all their current house updates but either way alicia found seth and they had two beautiful babies lexi and brett so um if you guys did not know, Lexi was kidnapped when she was a toddler by this crazy lunatic man who we're going to get into. I just want to show off what they look like as kids. Um, she has a trait, serial killer. Did not know that was a thing. Okay. Either way, we're going to continue on. So um, I'll get there. That's a whole storyline. You're like, serial killer, can you please explain? Can you see that? You might not even be able to see that. I don't know where my face is. I moved it. I'm going to try to move it. I think I'm going to put it right here. Like in this general area since so nothing pops up right there and he's low enough for we can be able to do some like fun things um either way this is lexi she's very very cute very very adorable i do need to give her a whole entire makeover so when you see her again she's probably a teenager anyways um so don't expect to see her she is the person i'm planning on moving forward with she's always the person that's planning on moving forward with um she does have a very very adorable brother named brett um who I love. He's super duper cute as well. And like a non, you know, a cute as in like, they make cute babies. He is gloomy. That trait will obviously change when he gets older. As that was a trait that he is, his sister got, you know, kidnapped right in front of him. And so I figured that would take a toll on his mental health. Um, I think we're going to make him more erratic in a way, a shape or form, instead of being gloomy. I'm not entirely sure what his storyline is going to be here. But I think erratic is the best way to go with this particular one. They do have a cat. The cat name is Socks. 
Uh, Socks now order. Oh, Socks is not going to be alive for much longer. We'll definitely check in game as we're about to go back in there so I can describe what happened. So, like I said, last time um, I saw this man, the man saw Lexi. They, I went looking for them. I thought they were inside. I thought they were going to go to bed. The toddlers, they had just turned into toddlers, just directly sprouted from babies to toddlers. And I went out to do a photo shoot because that's what I do to celebrate. I like to take pictures. I'm very much involved in my family. You know what I mean? Pictures are hanging up around the house and different things like that. And so I went to go take a picture and I left them out there all day, which was fine because it was summer. It's spring now. It's been a whole season since you guys have seen them. But, you know, it was summer, so it wasn't like a big deal. It wasn't super cold out. They had just gone through winter type thing. So we were, we were a-okay. Um, but I went out to find them and I realized this man was looking at, you know, Lexi a little weird. And I was like, that's kind of creepy. And I kind of like really started pondering that moment. And normally I take these moments as a grain of salt. But in this particular moment, I really got the bad vibe from the sim, which is weird. I keep telling the story and everybody's like, how you can get vibes from sims? Like, don't, I don't question my actions. And um, he, I decided to make a whole storyline based off the fact that she got kidnapped at a toddler age. And I never really did anything with the storyline as it was not something I really wanted and or something I really needed in my game. I personally had already done a kidnapping storyline when I first started this Legacy Challenge. It was like the second generation in, maybe the third generation. I talk all about it in that video, like I said, I recommend it up in the cards. And so I'd already done this whole entire storyline. I've also have a whole LP, which I'll link in the cards if you guys are curious about that. Um, it had no permanent ending, just in case you're not, in case you're mad about those things. I do talk about all my plans for that permanent ending for my, um, oh, what is that? What is that last play called? Uh, Single Moms Let's Play, but there's kidnapping involved in that series. It was very, very gritty, I guess. I'll link it up in the cards. Uh, there is a whole entire, like, final video, because for anybody who needed closure for that storyline. Either way, back to my current household and the, um, Hatfield slash Andersons. And, so, I already had one of those, and that was a very traumatic thing, and I, that was before I knew mods even existed, and, like, mods was a big part of my game. Like, that was way before that. That was, like, pre, like, Jacob has, you know, computer and whole nine yards. Either way, and so I redid it, and I didn't really like it that much this time around. I didn't really get the vibes. I didn't really, you know, it was scary. It's more creepier here than it was there, because there it was, like, on purpose, and it was, like, all planned out to, like, great magnitude events. So, of course, where I can take you, like, on, like, you know, if you guys ever want to view around the world, that's a video that you guys want to see, my current household save. I have a whole museum dedicated to that house that we built um, for that particular occasion, whereas this is not a house that I built for any particular occasion or anything like that. Either way, um, so she was kidnapped, and we spent the whole entire season trying to talk to cops, they did nothing, um, and then I realized, I remembered Fallon, who is, um, part vampire, who is a part of the half, part of the Han Anderson, she's not born in the video I recommend to you, but she is a part of the Anderson, um, that family that I just recommended to you guys in the cards, uh, to talk about the whole entire legacy in this, um, current household. Either way. She is a vampire. She married Cave of the Tour. They have a daughter type holding to nine yards. And I remember that and I was like, ooh, we should totally use the vampire to kill the person, or at least use the vampire to track, because I do it more gratted, like in a more story typing way, even when I plan out even when I do things. And so I had her grab a toy from Lady that she would be using, a toddler toy, and I had her go and find them. They found them, they were in Strangerville, they were hacked up in Strangerville. It was just him. I think his name is Sarano or something like that. Him and Lexi. It was scary. It was intense. It was spooky. And um, things didn't go as actually as planned, as you guys can tell. So I didn't realize the drinking, like, I thought Serial Killer mod had the full vampire effect to it. It does not. It's a separate mod. You need to go down with the mod Sims.info. And so I didn't have the right mod, and I didn't realize this until too late. And then we realized, so I was I was doing it with my mom, and I realized, oh my, if I, if I took a picture... I'll insert the screenshot on the screen somewhere now. Uh, no, I won't. Because, you know, we can go find the screenshot. If that's... I don't know if I took the picture. I don't have many screenshots in this particular, so this won't be a game changer for us here. Um, let's see here. It would be uh, down here towards the bottom. If it, if it does exist. Oh, no, we don't exist. Okay. So I didn't take a picture. That's fine. It's okay. Not the biggest deal in the whole entire world. But either way, um, she actually ended up murdering someone. I think that was really, we agree that that was really fitting. So it is um, Carno, 
he's evil, he's kleptomaniac, and he was murdered by him. He has stabbed in the guts. Personally, this should be a negative, like, 80. You know, so we're just going to very quickly change this. We're going to make it a negative 85. She hated him. And so that was how she escaped. She found her mom. Because her mom was really close by. Oh, okay. Hold on. She was really close by, you know, whole nine yards. And, um, that was the thing. You know, when she found him, you know, they had no idea. The cops showed up. Uh, they've never questioned them or anything like that. This is a few days later. And now we're here. Uh, that's basically the rounding up of that storyline. She's, she has a few problems wrong with her. Uh, nothing super big. I think the serial killer thing would always haunt her. I think, um, I do have a plan for her storyline, if you guys are curious. Um, I will try to play it this month. I don't know, I'm, I have a lot of traveling and stuff I'm doing this month, and I just have a lot of things I'm doing. So, not entirely sure. I'm also not going to be showcasing the house this month. Um, normally I try to do a whole house view overview, but next month we will have a whole new house as I am planning on moving into my own particular house that I'm building as I do builds and stuff on this channel every single day. Look out for those. Maybe one. The build that's going up today is the house that I'm planning on building for these particular sims. If it does end up working out that way. Um, either way, guys, that's my current household update. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. I think we'll, before we go through, I think we'll go through each character so you guys can remember. So like I said, this is Alicia. She is a part of the social media career. I really, really enjoyed Alicia. I'm pretty sure we're going to go more towards getting her a new child, um, a new baby, maybe a whole new sets of babies. I don't know. I'm going to make the, the house, new house, like a four bedroom house instead of like, like, I think this is a, this might be a four bedroom. One, two, three. Yeah, this is a four bedroom. Maybe I'll make it a five. I might make it a five bedroom. I'm not sure. She has several different skills as she, she's tan, you know, she, I already do a lot of different things. Um, but either way, she's very, very handy and she loves social media. Um, her husband who is not here, he's at work is, um, so over here, like I said, they have a skin in the storyline. I liked him. And so he came from over there. It was very interesting. It was, it was a lot, actually, if I remember correctly. I don't really remember, but I remember it being a lot. So if you guys are curious in that idea of what the a lot is, go ahead and check out previous current households. I will link the playlist um, at the end of the video, obviously. But with that being said, um, like Raven here, I remember Raven being a lot. I think Raven was a lot. I can't remember, though. Let me know. I don't remember. Uh, maybe I'll watch the video. I'm kind of curious. But he's a part of the military career. Part of the reason why I liked him is because he's part of the military career. Um, let's see here. There's, like I said, Brett just aged up. They really just had not even been to school yet. I think they go to school the today's their first day of going to school since they aged up. But they're not going to be too long of child, like teenage. But they're not going to be children for too much longer. And so we're going to make sure we uh, move on there. Now, of course, like I said, she has a serial killer trait. I'm worried that's a trait I can get rid of, especially since I'm not planning on keeping Extreme Violence mod in my game. I'm pretty sure it'll just disappear. Um, and then we, of course, have Socks over here, in which Socks is going to be dying here very soon, which I'm assuming Socks is going to be dying here very soon. As, oh, Socks might be sleeping. Hold on. Let's wake up Socks. Uh, Socks has been a, I don't know when we got Socks. You know, I want to say I know, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know at all. I don't remember any of these things. I play current households for like two days straight and I don't play them for the rest of the month and I do a video about them. Basically how it goes. And by two days straight, I mean I play them for a very, very long time for those two days. So like it's a, oh, four days. Okay. So this, this, this cat has a long, has a long ways to go. All right. That's very nice. Uh, probably be, ooh, mm, ooh. we'll see how that goes. Either way, <laughs> with that being said, um, I'm going to end this video here as current household videos don't need to go on for 60 minutes. Uh, if you guys do want to see me play this like as a day in the life type thing in the Andersons, let me know in the comments below as I would love to do that video for you guys. And I'm always looking for fun new videos to do. And that could be a fun new video to do. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big fat thumbs up. Turn a comment down below. Hit the subscribe buttons. And I post videos every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, every day of the week, except for Saturday and Sunday for SimSoup. Book two videos fall on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If that's something you guys are interested in. And of course, I have two other channels linked down below. I do stream, try to stream every morning at 10 o'clock, if that is something that also interests you. And I will see you guys on next time.